Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. One of the key functions of OWL Trek OTDRs is called Live Mode, which is an advanced feature normally found only in high-end OTDRs. Live Mode is used to continuously shoot OTDR traces every few seconds, allowing users to monitor changes in the optical fiber in real time. In addition, OwlView software includes a live viewer mode that takes live OTDR traces and expands them onto the PC display for easier viewing. This video will demonstrate how to configure an OwlTrek OTDR to run in live mode, as well as how to use OwlView to show live traces on a PC screen. To start live mode, we simply need to make sure the OTDR is powered on, like you see here, and then we need to connect the OTDR to the link under test. For this purpose, I'm just using a one kilometer dead zone spool, which will um, be more than enough to show or to demonstrate live mode. Okay, there, now that we have this connected, we need to enter the setup menu to change the trace options. Now to change our menu options, we simply press this enter key here and once you see setup over here, you press setup. All right, now you see your trace options screen. Uh, the one uh, option that we need to change for sure is capture mode. Uh, capture mode is the different uh, ways for the OTDR to operate. In this case, we change it to live. Now, depending on the number of samples and the, the number of steps that are used, for taking this trace will we'll determine on how fast the live mode screen will update. So if we want to have a faster update, we decrease the number of samples, let's say 512, and then we change the, uh, excuse me, we change the, uh, the number of or the step number here. So let's just go to four meters. Um, once we have this information set, we press save. And now, as you can see up at the top of the screen here, it says live. So now we're in live mode. Okay, to, to start live mode, we simply, simply press the test button. All right, now you can see that the trace is actually flashing a little bit. Uh, what this means is that the OTDR is taking continuous traces and then putting them on the screen. Now, what I'm going to do, um, notice that there is a little, um, little, little peak here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate kind of what live mode does for you. It's, if I put a, a bend in the, um, in the dead zone spool here, you can see that what I'm doing is I'm eliminating the reflection from the very far end of the spool, which is uh, eliminating the echo that is appearing there. And when I release... At least the fiber, you can see that that, uh, that, uh, that echo appears again. Uh, just, that's just to demonstrate that the OTR is taking traces continuously. Now, if you want to turn uh, live mode off, you simply press the test button again. Okay, and then what, it, what happens is that the last trace that was taken is, stays on the screen. Um, let's, uh, let's turn live mode back on so we can demonstrate... Uh, demonstrate the, uh, the live viewer mode in, um, in our view. So to view live mode on a PC screen, uh, we need to first ensure that our view is installed and the USB drivers used to connect the PC to the OTDR um, will install when our view is installed. Okay. Now, the first thing we need to do here is to connect the PC to the OTDR. Um, and that what this does is this it allows the OTDR to communicate with the PC for the purpose of live mode. Um, so, connect the USB cable to the PC or to the OTDR. And we also connect the other end of the cable to the PC. And most of the time, you will hear a, a USB connection sound. Uh, 
and that, that it tells you that the USB cable has been connected uh, to, the, to the PC and that the device is, is able to communicate. Okay, once the cable is connected to the PC, what we do is we first launch OWL view for OTDR. Okay, and note we have to make sure that we're already in live mode, which we already are. Um, so once once we verify that we're in OT or in live mode, we can simply uh, click this Start Live Mode option we see right here. If we click Start Live Mode. The OTR will start communicating with Owl View, and as you can see on the screen here, the uh, the trace is changing uh, based on what the the software is receiving from the OTR. Again, I'm going to demonstrate by removing this echo. You'll see that this echo goes away when I when I crimp the cable a little bit. So um, as you can see. The Owl View software is showing the same thing that the OTDR is showing on its screen. The nice thing about this is that um, it's easier to see the trace on the uh, on the software screen than it is to see on the OTDR screen itself. When we're done uh, looking at live live viewer mode on the OTDR. Or I'm sorry, on the software, simply press the test button again. The, again, this exits live mode and it also exits the live viewer mode. This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.